welcome to our day one of the lockdown, the sh national shutdown in southwest France. Right now I think it's really important that we do respect um, these lockdowns, that we keep our kids home from school, that we stay away from other people in a real bid to uh, give the medical industry some space to deal with this crisis. It's also a good time for us all to individually reset and think about what's important and maybe change some things. I think we're being forced to change the way we live our lives a little bit. So anyway, Remy, myself and the kids actually live in a really small apartment in the southwest of France. But a few days ago, um, we anticipated that there would be like a, a more strict lockdown of which there is now. It's a, it's a national enforced lockdown for 15 days minimum here in France. So we came up to Remy's parents' property where we have already been experimenting with permaculture and we thought it's the best chance now to spend some time in the garden with the kids. But I'm going to take you out the back to our little section of the garden here today to show you what we've been working on and this is how we're dealing with the lockdown and I think it's a pretty positive way. We're very privileged to have this space um, on hand and those of you who do have the space now I think it's the time to get some seeds in the ground and get your hands dirty and slow down and just take time to maybe think about where we get our food from, how we can be more self-sufficient ourselves and uh, yeah how you've been living your life and how you want to keep living it after things uh, maybe settle down or maybe not settle down. We'll see what happens. The future is very unwritten right now. So this was all grass and a year ago Remy started digging up beds and preparing soil like here and some of it's ready this year. The bamboo was already here, we have a little stream. We're very, very lucky to have this little water stream. Our soil is quite um, hard like clay, got some flowers in here just, just in new. This is our little fire pit. I like to come and have a little fire in the afternoons, especially in winter when it was cold. So we've got potatoes there. This was actually the first bed that was made a year ago. And the only one we, um, we grew anything in last year. Everything else was being prepared. So these are potatoes that have just sprouted themselves, left over from last year. And it's kind of hard to see here, but... Just around here, these are little pea shoots that are coming up. I planted peas straight into the ground. It's another one here. Um, about two weeks ago. What's up? What are you up to, Ryder? Um, helping Remy do like a new planting. Can you show everyone around the garden? Yeah. So what's this one? This one um, is for like, I think the corn, I think. Okay, when did we build this? We, we built this yesterday. Okay. This one has lots of plants in it. This is my herb garden, isn't it? I want to just know what show you. We've got um, lemon balm, oregano, mint, parsley, thyme, sage, laurel, and lavender. And rocks. And rocks from, <laughs> from the beach. We have the bird thing over Yeah, we there. have a little bird feeder that was just like a impromptu bird feeder. So this is the river. Well, it's not a river. It's a little creek that runs through and joins up. We actually back onto a little forest over there and this is a corn, monocrop corn area. So all of the fields around here are monocrop, except for ours. We've got, what's going in here, boys? Uh, there's going to, oh, there's a deer. You can't see it. Oh. Oh. oh, there's another one. Can you see that? They're wild deer. Awesome. So this is a little impromptu structure Remy built for the cucumbers that will go in. They're currently uh, starting to sprout in the bathroom. What else is going in here, darling? Tomatoes. Cucumbers. Uh, we've, we've actually got a little map. Corn. We're, we're not freestyling everything. We do have a little design. I just can't think of everything right now. Because here it's gonna be like the melon. But mom, I can't eat corn. 
This is going to be Hunter's melons. And my nose. Watermelon too. Watermelon and rock, rock melon. melon. And honeydew. Honeydew. We haven't got honeydew seeds yet. Yeah. This is the chili bin, right, Ryder? Yeah. This is my chili bin. This is going to be uh, jalapenos and I can't remember the name. I think it's Escondido, a really hot yeah. pepper from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put some flowers, maybe some basil and um, some things around the edges. Yeah. Remy's doing something interesting here, and which he would love to explain to everyone. What are you doing, darling? This is a um, me and Hunter's little garden thing, but we don't know what we're gonna put in it yet. So what have you done here, darling? So Ryder designed the shape of it, which I thought was pretty huge, but they helped me until the end. And now like we're putting like a lot of wood on the, on the top of the bed, like just on the bottom, sorry. Where does the wood come from? The, the forest. forest over there. So that's our little wild forest. It's kind of hard to see because it's all brown, but that's actually, is it a protected reserve? No, it's just unexploited. Yeah. Unexploited. Yeah. The goal is to raise here, you know, because sometimes it's flooding here. And so to have a good soil and be, the soil will be drained. So hey, we just raise that. Rider. Normally you're supposed to take a lot of wood like that has already decomposed like that. So it's gonna act like a sponge. And you don't need to water the plant a lot during the hot summer. But uh, I just tried different things here because all the other beds, they only sponge decomposed wood already. But on this one, I want to try different and see the result. And after when I'm going to lay all the wood, I'm going to put back the first layer that I remove, you know, mm -hmm. from here yeah. and putting upside down. So the azote and the carbon will be mixed together. And after that, I'm gonna put back the proper soil, the good one, I guess. And that's gonna raise as it is over there. And if you can show them after, so that's the first year, basically. The soil is like that, not that beautiful. And after a year of the work I'm doing like here, if you go back to the potato, you're gonna see it's really black. So it means that all the wood that I had after like get de decomposed and it's really good soil to grow stuff. So yeah. Okay, so Remy was just mentioning about um, the potato patch. So this is the potato patch and this is the soil that he prepared last year. So it's exactly the same as over there and you can see it's it's a lot darker and and black and the anything we grow here seems to just absolutely thrive i don't want to dig it up too much because i've got some things growing and there's also potatoes growing but yeah you can see the difference between that sort of brown clay soil and this is after a year of um, the composting method he's using using the wood from the forest it's uh all an experiment we haven't done any permaculture courses we are purely self-taught. Remy's really the leader here. I'm very much into my medicinal plants and herbs, so I've actually ordered a bunch of new seeds that are coming. So these two trees have been on the property um, the whole time. They're actually chestnuts. So they are, obviously it's in the winter now, but yeah, they're chestnuts. These seeds actually just re-sprout themselves and, and they're the, kind of re-sprouting everywhere and they're also very owl hurt they're, they're spiky aren't spiky. they we are not actually using vegetable scraps here yet we because we don't live here we only come here on the weekends and we're now here during the the virus lockdown um we haven't really started a vegetable composting section here we are going to do that though and we're going to hopefully get remy's parents more into that but so right now, this is just sort of what Remy was explaining. It's it's wood from the forest mixed with soil and clippings. Um, just a very natural way of getting the earth ready for garden beds.
Made me a little walkway. <laughs> Making me a path, darling. Can you explain what you're doing? I'm cutting the fresh uh, grass so I can mix like I explained before. So without going too much into details like green, so fresh cut with the old wood. So those combinations make, uh, I will say, the decomposition of the materials go faster. Is this how you work out during a lockdown? For you, darling. <laughs> I find a video on YouTube that they say that basically less hole, like empty stuff, like better it is. Okay. So, is that make sense? Yeah. Just like freaking put a lot of stuff in it and fill her up, right? I guess. Yeah. And that bucket looks empty, so I guess. Yeah, you just try it up. Okay, so why the plastic? It's a little tip, so you don't have really to... If you don't use the plastic, you put first all that first layer on the ground and after a while it starts to get really muddy. So by putting that first, you protect the future path. And second, like, you can move it. So when you finish that side, which I just done, I just pull that things and all the soil come with me and you put that here and if people ask why I don't use a wheelbarrow I usually do but uh, when there's that amount I couldn't fit everything on the wheelbarrow so I had to use that big plastic uh, shit right Almost there. I know. I think in another 20 minutes because I'm going slow. It's the end of the day. I'm tired. It is the end of the day. Yeah, I'm tired. We're in, uh, is it spring yet? Yeah, it is. It's basically spring. I don't know. I always thought spring in the northern hemisphere was the beginning of March, but my French teacher told me that spring, which is printemps yeah. in French, actually starts on like March the 23rd or something? There's something like you can know, I think when they change the hour or something like that. Right, okay, like the off. end of the winter time yeah. clock. Anyway, it's essentially spring. We just still have some pretty cold mornings. So that is the reason we don't actually have any seedlings except for the peas in the ground and the potatoes which have self sprouted all the soil is back on. Yeah. You're just tidying it up. Yeah. And are you going to cover it? Uh, I run out of uh, dry wood. Mulch. So to, yeah, mulch. So tomorrow I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in the forest and take some to make it to cover it. Like I don't really like to lay it like that, but I guess just for a day. Okay. And tomorrow it's pretty hot, so I have to do it definitely tomorrow. It's not the soil and everything will dry out too much, right? Not in a day, but uh, I just like to finish stuff. We couldn't film it, but I'm just thinking. You know how I end like I was tired of shovel. I put back the earth, and like we had that uh, plastic bag laying down on the floor, and so at the end we just grab it together and like basically save ten minutes of shoveling. Of shoveling, so. That was something. Two hands can make light work. Four, four hands can make light work, right? Yeah. Uh. 
it's a massive one like I start this one today because yesterday we saw a video about that guy that have a farm and like he went through the garden and said and pointed at something and said that's for my kids and I was like oh this morning the kids gonna have part in the garden when they can do whatever they want and right they came and drew a massive circle I mean rectangle or whatever it is and I was like man that's big like it's gonna be a lot of work and they actually helped me remove all the grass and after a while Hunter said ah oh, I'm quite hungry Remy I'm just gonna go <laughs> and Ryder followed him and they never came back so they bailed and left you to do their garden yeah but uh, hopefully it's gonna have a lot of tomato that's it we are going to... Do we need to be that close? I don't know, my arm's not long enough to push it back okay. further and by the way, the cameraman is there so... That's it for today, <laughs> we're super happy to make it happen Like, welcome to the channel <laughs> I don't know, I'm not promising like regular stuff but... Are you kidding? Garden now with that skill? If he keeps up this effort and uh, France keeps us on lockdown then suddenly overnight we might have a little gardening channel. I don't know. You guys might think this is a load of shit, but if you like it, you know what to do. Bye.